Legend of Total War here with part 5 of my Total War Rome 2 uh, Empire Divided Let's Play campaign as Aurelian's Rome. Alright, so previously we just just cut an absolute swath through Hispania and Britannia, and Germania, what was left of it. And everything's looking... This is what I like to see out of my empires. A nice, big block. Basically with a manageable frontier. We're just closing off frontiers, and very soon we will have our first doom stack. All we're waiting on is for these here to be constructed. Which, you know, that'll take 10 turns, but to give you an indication of just how fucking strong this unit is going to be... Where is it? That's, that's its melee attack at the moment. Okay, there's still another 20% coming. In addition to that, we still have researches that, that, that we can do. And it hasn't got gold tier weapons yet. So that melee attack is going to cut... That's basically like equipping them with lightsabers, essentially. They're going to cut through cataphracts like fucking butter. And it's going to be delicious to watch, watch the slaughter. On the occasions where we do bother fighting it manually. But basically what we'll, we have going on here is, instead of using numbers of armies, like we're using like multiple armies to... multiple crap armies to overwhelm, you know overwhelm our enemies, we'll be able to use single armies to take on double stacks, no problem. But, you know, I didn't I didn't want to go through, like, a 50-episode series, because, as you guys know, that's... People's attention span just don't last that long. So I gotta get to... I gotta get to Doom... If I want to show a Doom stack, I gotta show it by episode 5. And that's where we're up to now. Or else... Otherwise, if I just be like, oh, look, we got a new unit, upgrade. Upgrade all my armies to the new unit. It'll be 50 episodes in before we, uh... Before we get to the new stuff. To the best stuff, I mean. Anyway, uh, I'm going to declare war on these guys now. Probably lose a little bit of reliability. Yeah, but that's okay. Just a little bit. As long as we stay in the green or, worst case scenario, yellow. At this stage, at least. Once we own about 80% of the map, it doesn't matter. Reliability is basically... What are they going to do to us? We can just bully them. At this stage here, if, if these guys were to betray me and start attacking... I would be in some serious problems. Like, we wouldn't lose or anything. Like, we'd t we could totally do This Is Total War on this campaign, I think. I just don't want to do that. It's just a big old grind. Oh, that motherfucking army disappeared. Where'd he go? Yeah, okay, well, if, if we can't catch up to him this time, at least make it so we can't go anywhere. So yeah, we just captured all these provinces super quick. Hopefully they didn't get a chance to convert it to, to desert trash or whatever it is their culture is. And we can reconvert it back to Roman. Yeah, they've they've already converted it to desert nomadic for the most part. Eastern and desert nomadic. We've got to get it back to uh, Latin because we need that traditionalist bonus that we get. So with that, we've taken a few of their settlements. All right, you're going to have to go around this way. I'll send you in force march, you'll be safe. And you go around this way. Stop them from moving. Ah, oh, oh well. And over here. Where did their other army go? Okay, sabotage that. This is a playable faction, so we have to actually wipe out all their armies. But, we can take Aldon. And these guys won't be able to attack this turn. Now, if you think you why not assassinate that general, well, you can see that they've got other guys out there. It wouldn't have finished them off. So they have no territory left. Don't know why I bother sending you out there. Okay, they might make a rush for Iska, which they might be able to take, but we'll just double back over here. Okay, what's next on the agenda? Actually, yeah, you should force... Can you force March back there? Yeah. Better to just not lose it. They, I think it's, they're closer to here than they are to here. We can just keep moving back and forth until they die eventually. Okay, so that's all that done. We've also got politics well under control. 
With these guys losing influence very slowly over time. Yeah, politics just under control there. I mean, we could also secure loyalty, but we don't need to. And you get all this money here for construction. Seems like we're done with... Um, on, let me just double-check this again. With Latium. Yeah. For the most part. In terms of, like, military structures, we're done. There's nothing else here we need to upgrade. The only thing I could possibly do is maybe demolish this for, you know, extra horse attack, but I'm just like, nah, don't worry about it. I don't rely too heavily on the cavalry. But, you know, looking at this, the cavalry should have a massive attack. Yeah, fuck me, that's heaps. Alright, so I said I was going to get... Let's have a look. So... So the giant ballista only costs 56. These polybolos are actually really good for for battles, for, for field battles. But the reason why we get artillery is to make uh, city battles easier. We've got to knock down those goddamn walls. Yeah, the cost isn't that bad. Okay, let me just check this. Range 550. Problem with these things is that they can't move. So yeah, just two of those, that's usually what I go for. We don't need to worry about their melee attack. Not yet. I'm probably training those a little bit early, but eh, fuck it, doesn't matter. No, I'm not finished with this province yet, so don't bother developing it. These provinces in Germania will actually end up being our most valuable because they're so far away from the frontier. Making them very safe. A safe option to develop. Yeah, there's a lot of text that we need. Anyway, pretty much out of money. Um, I might just double check to make sure I didn't leave any empty build slots anywhere because slums are a pain. Consumes food, causes public order problems. And most importantly, cost me money to get rid of. Okay, cool. So it shouldn't take us long to get rid of the the Mori, and then we just I don't know. Maybe we should stop at that point. This is no time. Oh man, they got ripped to shreds on In that. Rome's name. Okay, well, it's good that they've come here, because we just finish them off. I believe they've still got one more force out there. These guys here aren't doing so well. Double up on the experience here. I did see another one of their navies out here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright. Just gonna ignore that. And. Make my way towards Eblana. Doesn't seem like they need it there, but let's just double check. Next stop, I think we'll send you down here. So yeah, being able to build the theater, that's going to be very helpful. Mm, so will that. Everything's helpful. Yeah, we'll go with this. Just, just to finish off this and get the extra wealth from culture. Yeah, 
get a little bit of money from subsistence from that, but it also could start consuming a lot of food. Let's just hold off on that for the time being. I don't know how, what my food situation is. Okay, so Britannia... There's a lot of things that need to be converted and destroyed here. Alright, let's, let's do it. most of my money. Well, actually, not necessarily, because demolishing doesn't cost that much cash. What's our tech rate at the moment? 230%. Cool. Usually by the end of the campaign, I'm sitting on like 5 to 800%. structure. There we go. All of this food will be consumed in time. So he's still got a decent move range, despite the fact that he's got artillery in there. It does slow him down a little bit. Oh, that's right. These guys. Okay, if I cross through here, I can take attrition. Assassinate him before he's... No, I'm out of money. I will just stay there then. Probably should sabotage him again, so let's free up some funds somewhere. Maybe in s oh no, I can't get him, so yeah, assassinate him before he just goes around anyway. Oh, you suck balls. Doesn't matter. Still got a little bit of cash, could probably build something else. Maybe not. We'll just save it for next time then. Alright, so... A bit of this. Okay, let's see how politics are going. We've got n 465, let's see if it adjusts. 465. Subsidy. Hmm. It's just it's a death sentence for them to take this. They might ruin the settlement, but it's a death sentence. They'll never hold it unless they sack it. That being said, they're using up their movement to get here. Death sentence, they're gone. Told him he has lived for too long, yet, um. Okay. Um. A filthy conspirator. Judge him. Give him a trial, but, you know. He's guilty. If you know someone's guilty, give them the trial. Just so you know, everyone knows then that the guy was guilty. And then kill him. If you can't prove someone's guilty, then just kill them without a trial. After all, you're the Emperor. You have to do what you have to, to keep control of Rome. Alright. Take that out. These guys are wrecked. 
So, out of curiosity, how bad is the damage at here? They did nothing to it, so like I said, it's no big deal. It. Oh, hang on, no, they're down here as well. Nice quick war, that's what I like to see. No longer seemingly manipulate someone beyond your capacity anymore. You used to be able to get like infinite number of um, agents, but now not so much. Eight more turns. We're getting there. Okay, have I done? Yeah, I've done all my true movements. What about? So that hasn't changed. Four, six, five. Okay, let's see. What's our richest territory? That. Uh, how is that making so much money? There's no way that's going to end up making more money than most other regions because these, so many of these here don't, don't make any cash. I'm just thinking about where to put the edict. Cash left. Moving on. Hmm. Okay, get these guys down to the next frontier, which Pretty easy for us to push across here, I think. Egypt, huh? I mean, they're a client state, a good... Maybe, let's get to here, and then we'll stop. Egypt might end up taking this. We can we can move across their lands, or I could just cancel there. I mean, they're probably getting probably getting money from them. Yeah, but I'd much rather own this uh, this territory for myself. So they're at war with. Hmm. It, c it could be a good opportunity for us to drag them into the war with the Sassanids since they border them. Oh no, let's let's worry about that another time. Alright, moving on. Take this substance. Just cracking my knuckles because they're feeling stiff. And it's a triumph every bloody turn here. Yeah, I thought they might actually have an army. Bad luck, but at the same time, they're taking attrition, so it's not a big deal. Ready for oh no, you don't. Good, so that increased our wealth from culture, which probably wasn't heaps anyway. Why would I care about plus 20 relationship with barbarian factions? I'm pretty sure this is one of the last ones. 
of steady. Well, this German Confederation, I guess. Let's come over to here. I suppose increasing tax rate at this stage could be... Oh, wait, I was going to go for the reduced corruption, wasn't I? Yeah, it's only six turns. Reducing corruption by 15%. That's going to be huge. No change here. I don't want to cancel off trade agreements right now just because we need, need them for this. Just for the time being. Hmm. Are we going for sanitation? No, we're pretty good for that. Of course, this helps quite a lot. Just thinking, I mean, it's good for money. It costs a lot to build. Food-wise, we're fine. I can just do it. Kind of wish I could change the capital back to Rome. these guys this turn. Shit. Could have missed out on that. Okay, if we take... Oh no, they still got one more second left for us. We don't need to bother with this army here. Just make our way to Sidamus. No, 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 no. Oh, you fucking fool. Do not... Do anything but travel on the road. Don't take the shortcut. Take the road. And you'll take the road down to here. Egypt might take that. I don't know. We'll see. There was another guy back here, right? Yeah. And then there's levels up that need to be distributed. Now oh, here come the birds. So this guy here has just reached level 10. What do we need? Uh, I mean, we give him a little bit of authority. It reduces the upkeep cost by just this. A small amount, but I think we get more bonus out of extra campaign movement. Alright, moving on. Even if that army was at full strength, we should have no problem taking out Eblana. the other guys. Okay, good. We can take them out from here. To victory! Oh, ridiculous. 100% of our movement can't catch them. I mean, they probably don't have enough troops to be able to capture the settlement anyway. So, now, we make our way back to mainland Europe and get over to here. We still have Six more turns before we can start recruiting our doom stack. Things like things like this that actually provide us with really good bonuses should be prioritized over 
over that. Even though we've got a lot of food right now, I think there's better things that we can invest in at the moment. A lot of regions have just not developed at all. he think he's going? I need to get some more cash. If you go walking through there, you'll take attrition. I need to free up some funds so I can do that sabotage. Otherwise, they're going to go back to that settlement. Causes problems. Alright, good. Let's move on. Oh, again. Doesn't matter if that army's taking attrition, he'll more than recover by the time he gets back. If you're no. This is no time for timidity. In Rome's name, I insist that your armies march. Okay, so the Sassanids have declared war on Egypt. Good, I guess. Now we should cancel our trade agreement and everything with Egypt because we'll try and like gobble them up halfway, because the the Sassanids will eat them up as well. This should eliminate the faction. Good. Okay, now. Egypt. You have served your purposes. We'd make more money by owning the settlements anyway. Sure I do make a little bit of money being their, um, their overlords. There's about 2,000 in total. But uh, I'm not here to share territory. We for March. A little bit of attrition, nothing major. Actually, I should have sent you down here. What's this? You are welcome. Why is it still in blue? Maybe it just hasn't updated yet. So we'll have to wait a few turns, or else we'll be considered very dishonorable, which is... It doesn't really matter too much, but it does still matter. Right. Double time it down here. Please nothing. We'll, I mean, we're never going to catch them, but it doesn't matter. Cool. Alright, now champions need to get over here as well. And Britannia is secure. No one's going to attack this for a very long time. Don't expect any revolts. Instability will disappear. Everything should be fine. I believe it's five more turns left, right? Yep.
Throw that in the primary building thing there. Okay, moving on. We can leave these guys out in the water. They won't be able to hire any mercenaries, it's just a fleet. If they take a settlement, I'll raise a new force to of levies just to quickly take them over. I really doubt that they will take any settlements. It may have been quicker to land here and, and set sail from there, but ah, we're in no rush. Four settlements to go. Ah, four turns to go. Groups of two, and we'll roll over Egypt. And all their forces will be out here. Actually, it'd be funny to watch Egypt beat the Sassanids. That'd be cool. And then I'll just gobble up all their settlements that have been Romanized already. Good shit. Alright, let's start from the middle this time. Good, that's increasing. Slowly, get a new senator every couple of turns. I suppose that once these Temples of Sol Invictus have been built, getting an extra 40 influence per turn, that's really gonna help. Just make sure that we stay as close to 100% as possible. So yeah, these guys, they, they can't do anything. So we're just getting into position to attack Egypt. We're not going to actually do it just yet. Got to wait a bit of a time around. Hmm. Since you're down here, I want to keep an eye on that area, but we're going to move one of you up here. And the one down here. Three turns left. Three turns left. Good. Oh, 138. It's like each one of these is going to give him probably that extra two melee attack, I think. It's going to be insane. But I have, the thing is, it's the extra melee attack is upon recruitment. So if you don't, you have to wait until they're done. It doesn't like, you can't get that extra, you can't just retrain them after the fact. We've got plenty of food, so I guess we can justify more construction of these settlements. Oh, out of cash. They give us extra authority. Okay. 500, 1000. 
150, 2,000, 2,500. Damn it. Whoops. Not the end of the world, but still not great. Two, seven, two turns left? Yep. Not sure if we get a chance to use them in combat. Oh, we'll get a chance. Won't take many turns to recruit the full stack. Damn it, I'm already out of money again. You know, it'd actually be quicker for me to disband these armies and recruit them on the frontier, but, eh. Need to take him off Force March. How are they still getting triumphs all the time? So another trade agreement dissolved. Looks like might have, might have been Galatia. Oh well. Suppose you can just stand here. That way you can keep an eye on it. Doesn't matter if we're trespassing on their territory. Or maybe they could have kept an eye on it. Yep, they better hit it from there when the time comes, not yet. I'd say the Sassanids are winning, they took Cyprus. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that reduced. 15% corruption increased our income by about 3,000, 3 or 4,000, so that certainly helped. Now, we want to increase our tax rate. Go with this. The fuck? <laughs> they took it off me. Shit. Okay. I was like, how the hell did they take it off me? Because I didn't leave the garrison. Fuck. Alright, quickly get back there. That was my fault. My bad. It's like, yeah, okay. It was a little bit confusing for a moment there, but then I realized my mistake. Didn't leave the garrison. we came across it this time. Okay, Numidia's public order is still going downhill. That'll provide a bit of extra public order. Events minus 10. Oh no. It's, it is pretty close to revolting. Maybe I'll exempt it from taxation just for a short time. I wonder if that was actually taken previous turn. Okay, now on this turn here... Yeah, yeah, I can't. I forgot about that, those guys, but it's okay. We should be able to start recruiting our Doom stack. Now, if that's the case, these guys here should actually make their way to Italy to prepare for their Doom stack. We want to start phasing out the trash armies for the good ones. I don't care. As your command. As your command. Ready for now. Need to hurry up and get back there. Yeah, it's definitely faster to go that way. 
Okay, there we are, it's done. So in terms of influence, we should be gaining it pretty quickly. Well, we're gaining it, I don't know how quickly though. And the political parties are... Ooh. Well, it says there's 0% risk, but let's, let's chuck them a bit of loyalty. Okay, now. 147 melee attack, and that's not even the best they can get. Alright, so how are we going to do this? So, even these guys here have 61 melee attack. Okay, so four of these. Then, let's see. Yeah, so comparing Evocati to Herculanei, I mean, look how cheap they are in his army. Base model 142. That's Praetorian Guard, no. 122. They have slightly more armor. But that's it. Alright. Hang on. What about cavalry? Which ones are we going to get? No, no not horse archers. Okay, which has the best stats? Equity Scutari. Excellent armor. Praetorian cavalry have more health. What is this? Expert charge defense, okay. Praetorian cavalry have a bonus versus large. They don't. Weapon damage 30, weapon damage 43. Melee defense 49. 41. Hmm. I mean, they do have a lot of armor. That, that does count for a lot. And also that melee attack. That'll make them really good in... So these are melee cav. These are... They're both heavy, heavy cav. What about these here? Equities Cataphractari. They're shock cavalry. Eh, I wasn't really that, that happy with shock cavalry. Yeah, let's go with this. Just just two is all we need, and then because mainly just there to run down enemy units. That's that's all. And then the rest, eleven Herculani. So that'll take two turns to recruit. And when they're done, put them on the frontier, which will be here. We'll send them up against, um, I guess up against the Sassanids. If we can try and fight the Sassanids without Armenia, that would be preferable. Okay, so just one turn without taxes should have been sufficient. Yeah, it's, even with taxes now, it's under control. Good, building it up will fix up the public order. Ready for Ready for orders. Make haste, men. Doesn't seem to say that we're trespassing on their territory, even though we are. We're totally in position to absolutely wreck them here. Take three of their settlements straight away. But my reliability is still important, so like I said, we won't do that just yet. Most of my money is spent. Moving on. Yeah, so he's going to go to Italy. I need to just remember to send him that way. So we'll start replacing the uh, the eight stacks that we have into into the Doom stacks. Position your standard. Glacier was already destroyed. I feel like they didn't last very long. They were a client state of mine, but I don't really care. Your orders. Put your backs into yes. it, you men. Step the way ahead is blocked. What a pain. I might have to actually stay there for a little while. I think it's one army. Even this, even this doom stack here going up against the Sassanids is still going to be a bit iffy. Also, if we want to make them even stronger, there's 
there's battle abilities. Or battle, you know, we've got extra 12% melee attacks. Oh, that's auxiliary units, right? But there's, there's other ones in here. 10% movement speed, melee defense skill for all heavy infantry units here. But we're trying to get money because we have to afford these. It's not so expensive in his army, but in armies that don't have the patrician, they will be quite expensive. I mean, if you compare it to levies, Roman levies are 23, whereas these guys here are 96, so they're like five times more expensive, nearly. Alright, if we declare war on Egypt. Welcome, I suppose. No, do not. Alright, we'll wait see. another turn. Just took up plenty of food, so that's okay. Again, I think I forgot to move that guy down to Italy. Okay. Oh no, I didn't forget. He's on his way down. So I guess we can just disband all this now. Actually, might help him get it a bit further. Nope. Okay, there we have it. First Doom Stack. It's not too expensive either. Alright. How much is this going to cost us? It's not even. We still need to give him the level 3 weapons, but fuck it, we need to keep him protected. Maybe I'll send him to go fight the Gothi. as well. Hot. The aircon cools it down for a bit, but then, you know, every time it just starts to heat up again. Alright, so they've just abandoned the settlement. Maybe I don't need to have two armies sit around here. So you come back over here. And yeah, it might be a good idea if we convert this. What's this here? Transports. Okay, he's going to head up this way. Which means you need to head back up this way. Maybe just leave this province because... Yeah, like I said, don't, don't upgrade anything except for this one. Cause he's sitting there, it's safe. Get rid of that so they don't produce any military stuff from there. I don't know if that's what it can do, but just prevent it anyway. Where is he? Oh, that's right. He's here. So when he gets down to here, he'll be able to recruit the second Doom Stack. Which is not even truly the best it can be just yet. It can be better. I'm upgrading a lot of settlements, I'm not upgrading a whole lot of food. I feel like I need to focus more on the food.
only thing is with this is that it actually does increase food to some degree because banditry reduces food export exports. There's something. that tech next. I'll tell you what, the aircon feels nice. I know there's a bit of background noise, but it feels nice. Okay, are we ready to declare war on Egypt yet? Because we'd, we'd reckon one. But that nope. welcome can be I mean, we probably could still get away with it. Uh, maybe just wait until... Maybe one more turn. There's no rush. Let's see, coming down here. What if we went to this instead? See that? I don't know if we can build, like... Them in every province. And it's good for the extra influence and political part, but we don't really need that. Whereas this actually provides money. I mean, it costs food as well. But it's still good. We don't need the public order bonus. That's, or nor, nor the gross, it'd be fine. Alright, that'll help. Maybe. Yeah, we just gotta wait for these guys to just essentially kill themselves. Okay, so luckily they double backed over here. They're gonna maybe suicide at Ablana. Maybe. Start down close to the bottom. Wait, 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 why is there two of these? Agents over here are just sitting around doing nothing. Just want to see what we're actually going to be up against. Now that being said, in terms of that army there, it's still going to be auto resolve every battle that isn't at least going to be slightly interesting. Like if. If we go up and the odds are like 99% in our favor, of course we're going to auto-resolve it. Even if it's like 80% in our favor, there's no need to fight battles like that. What I really want to use that army for is for battles where we don't have the advantage. And see how they just rip them to shreds. The only thing that can defeat that army is something that's very focused on maneuverability and missiles. Like an all-horse archer army, because all that melee attack will happen. Plus I think they can use Testudo. Although... Let me just check that. Yeah. Although Testudo doesn't really work as well in this as it does in Total War Tiller. Total War Tiller, Testudo is amazing. For okay, good. We can get rid of these. And this has been converted, so you can get moving. Okay, all of these have been converted, so yeah, now we can get moving. This, even though they've built up their navy a little bit more. No, can't let them get over here. We're 
recruit your artillery first. Which is cheaper. Okay, so we needed this. Because a lot of buildings we need to upgrade. Like the fishmonger and the latifundium. Even though we... Oh yeah, we got the extra 5%. That helped a little bit. That would be good as well. But yeah. I really want to make sure we keep this as high as possible. Even though we've got plenty of food right now, I could very easily spend that. It's not actually that much. Okay, shall we declare war on Egypt? Welcome, but expect scant yep, let's do it. So we went down to Trustworthy, which is not too bad. Also, if you want food, Egypt's the way to go. Why don't I dedicate two armies to that? are on the frontier At your service. fighting the sass well hang on here's one make sure it doesn't come over there it's not big enough to stop us anyway it's full of trash How can I be of assistance? Oh, we get a second chance anyway it's too bad you can't have like a confederation just it doesn't have like same blood or anything because that would actually make a little bit more sense his, uh, like his, on a historical note because like like as an example of Iberia like Aurelian did not come through here and like I don't think he, he like landed here at all to fight them they, these guys just switched sides where are those spies? politics stuff for a while. Good, we seem to have this quite under control. What political actions did I do that gave us plus 10? Oh, that's right, because they secured their loyalty. Right. Other things that we can do to, re to decrease upkeep costs is actually promotions. Just got to keep in mind though, one only once every so often because it decreases loyalty with the other parties. It's only minus two, so that's I'm pretty sure it's only minus two, right? Yeah, so we're okay there. Yeah, no, it's okay. Like it's not by a lot, but I don't know it's good to give them their uh, their due gravitas. They're not going to form another political party. Better not. come here next turn. I get so sidetracked easily when there's so much other stuff going on. Okay, moving on. Gotta to remember to come back to Mauritania. Good. Reducing corruption every little bit now is, is adding up to thousands. Gotta remember to go back to Mauritania. Can't leave those empty build slots there. Yeah, 
Let's get the banditry. Don't know why, but those snail bats, they're the best for um, public order. Once you get that to tier 4, plus 6 faction wide. I think there's only two of them in the in the, in the campaign. But still, you get both of them at the plus 12. That's huge. So that other army just was like, no, nah, we can't defend this. And you are correct. So, Rome from the east, uh, sorry, from the west, south and from the east. Fuck are we supposed to do here? We're supposed to submit to me. Well, you suck, but wasn't relying too heavily on you. So as we make our way down here, we get those two good grain settlements, that's what I really want. Kind of a bummer that they don't actually provide a global bonus, but that that makes sense because they, that was overpowered before. I ended up with like thousands of food. Again, so it was just an indication that CA didn't play test it before they did that patch. And that was their final patch. It was like that for, for like literally more than a year. It just made the game so easy to deal with food. Provided, you know, you actually manage to expand. This is the problem with the Total War games, though. The beginnings are, I would say, too difficult. Compared to how difficult the end of a campaign is, which is too easy. It should be the other way around. Should be, to begin with, the campaign should be easy, you know. Should be easy to, you know, get a few territories here and there. Defeat your enemies, early territories, no problem. And then things start to get difficult, like increasingly difficult the larger you get. Not with bullshit mechanics either though. Like, oh, suddenly you're big, therefore lots and lots of AI cheats. Oh, hang on. I may need to recover a bit more funds. I don't think this army is going to cost heaps, but it will cost more than 9,000, but we can just get it started. We hunger for battle. We had to recruit the next lot. Next turn, no problem. Alright, so over here, yeah, we're getting, we're moving on. getting degraded. Ready for orders. To your duties, men. How can I be of assistance? At your command. I'm gonna force march here because I reckon that even if they caught me in Get force march, I'll still kick their fucking ass three days from Sunday. Three, three ways from Sunday. Whatever the fuck that means. And where did my champions go? They're up here. Once you get a doomstake, you kind of forget that you even need... Well, you forget to even use agents. You don't really need them. Unless, of course, they get sabotaged like crazy. Then you'd be like, ah, oh, kind of wish I had kept my agents around. Is there one here that I can get him for like reduced gravitas? No, nah, all positive stuff. Ready for battle. Good, that's what I want to see. More money means more things that we can do per turn. If you think about it, if we if we were to funnel thirty eight thousand denarii into a single province, that would probably get it from zero to maxed out. So just think about how many turns multiply that by. Oh god, I forgot about this. 
that's how many turns it takes to fix everything up. Income's increasing? Yeah, allow it, it's fine. I know it causes sanitation issues, but it's alright. Yep, there's your full stack. So you're going back down to Italy as well. Give me that delicious food. Now before we make our way to attacking the Sassanids, I will take out Ethiopia as well. Secure the frontier, as it were. Take the settlements for Rome! Just assassinate this guy here, because he's by himself. They want to come and fight us. Let's see what they get. What? Oh, I got a non-aggression pact with them. Mm. Please don't tell me I got a non-aggression pact with them. Oh, fuck Are me. you brave or fool? We will walk different roads then. Oh, shit. I have to wait ten turns or else my reliability is going to go to shit. And everyone's just going to fucking kill me. I have no agreements with the Sassanids. Alright, look, I'll make my way down here. I'll stay, stay, keep friendly relations with the, um, with them. Let's put the test. We'll come down here and we'll start fighting the Sassanids. I'll use join war with the, um, with them. So that I don't have to go to war with any of their vassals and we start fighting the sassies. Ready for orders. For death and honor. <sighs> what an absolute pain. But no matter where they go, they'll have at least uh, they've got it's just Roman levies, it's not very good. I'll give them the second Roman levies to stay there until these guys are not a threat because otherwise you just have to come all the way back. Hang on, Corrales, did we fix that up? That's next turn. No, 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 no. I have to remember to come back here. Two game, even on legendary difficulty, you really don't need to fight any battles manually. Especially with Rome. And I didn't need to on my Alani campaign either. It's just a case if I chose to go with an all cavalry army as opposed to all infantry, which would have actually probably been easier. Just well, you know, not if I had to fight any battles manually, because those forces are shit. Yeah, just 
keep these guys out of my face for the time being. I suppose you guys should be force marching. So yeah, I'm not too fussed about trespassing on Armenia's territory, even in Force March, but I should probably get off Force March. Um, and we'll make our way down here to Sassanid territory and then declare war on them. We'll more like join the war with our somewhat brothers in arms, the German Confederation. Cocksucking motherfuckers. Hate them. Alright, let's... So yeah, that costs a lot more than history. Why is that? What's... Okay. He's... No, he's leveled up. He's... What... Why does... um? Why do your troops cost so much less? Yeah, reduce 10%. What else? Does that extra 6% make such a big difference? So who is, who is this guy then? His name is... Um, Apius Caesonius Bublicus. Try and find him here, give him some promotions so we can reduce upkeep costs. With just one promotion. Even though it's only 2%, it makes a difference. Okay, so we can now get level 3 weapons. And if we compare them... Whew, it's another 7 attack. Oh shit. Nearly bumped my mic there, that would have fucked the recording. Gotta be careful. So you're next to get the Doomstack. And even though we're recruiting more expensive armies now, our income's still going up because we're able to invest every turn. You know what? Let's try a different approach. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, now we can leave. Province will be fine. We hunger for battle. Okay, let's do some instruction, then move on. Like I said, just be a little bit careful with the uh, with the spending of food. Don't go crazy with it. So obviously that'll help our food reserves a little bit. So these agents here need to come into Anatolia with us. Way behind us, but oh well. I'll leave you out here. Okay, so what was I going to research next? I mean, there's it's all useful. That provides us with six food. Not in desperate need for food, but it only takes one turn, so let's just do it.
I think this has got irony though. Yeah, yep. Actually, you know what I'm going to do with them? I'm going to send them home. Time to get their doom stacks. These two here will secure the rest of Egypt and and Ethiopia if they can. You are going the wrong direction, bitch. Over there. Um, and then they'll be sent back home to be made a doomstack. We will recruit new generals soon, but once we've converted these to doomstacks. Politics, yeah, it's just right on the edge there. We need more of that traditionalist. We're losing the mercantile stuff. I think we've only got one more trade agreement left, which is with um, Armenia. So well, we don't want to go to war with them just yet. Okay, food seems alright. I guess we can justify a little bit of this. Again, I forgot about this. It doesn't matter. Which, wait, wait, what happened here? Natural courses. Really? Commander. How old are you now? Shit, you're 61 years old. No, I don't want you to die of old age. We haven't secured the full Roman Empire yet. Yeah, it's alright. If you die, you die. Yeah, look, look at that increase in costs. I can't believe that. Wasn't that the one we started off with? Oh well. This should provide us with some big additional boost of food. Yeah, anyone that comes through here, just sabotage them. Keep him sabotaged so that Egypt might actually go and finish them off. Because we're about to go to war with them. Um, and Egypt's lost their bread basket. Uh, I think I'll actually send you to Egypt. Oh god, look how long it takes them. Even on Force March, that's real slow. Right, so don't declare war on them outright. You have the ear of my people. Do not waste words. And now we're with the Sassanids, and only the Sassanids. If we take them out before we go to war with anyone else, obviously they they won't be allied to each other anymore. Obviously, no need to fight that one manually. He could potentially live to the age of seventy. I'd like for him to live at least until we get Palmara back. But everyone else in our, our politics sort of thing should be quite young. And he's not that young. Alright, what are we researching next?
Okay, these two here, that'll take nine turns, but more importantly, the extra 10% tax rate. I guess the extra thousand wealth from from Rome won't hurt. Okay, so we're here now. I actually could have dealt with this last turn. Yeah, recruit the, the, these things first. What about the political opponents? What happens if they die of old age? 35, 41, 21. Okay, no, they're okay. Where'd that other one go? There it is. So yeah, how strong are the Sassanids compared to us? We're much stronger. Ah, oh, good. So now we can get tier three of those, allowing us to convert some of those other places. With more food coming through, we can justify. So it's an extra three food from all of these. Justify a few of these upgrades. Looks like Egypt's having a bit of a hard time over here. The bulk of the Sassanid forces are, are here. Now... Yeah, what? Oh, right. I don't care who wins here. I just don't want them crossing into mainland Egypt. So, sabotage them. Just to, so they have to go away. Okay, our next stop is da actually down here. Then from here, cross over to Mero. Let's just do the same thing that we did up this way. Okay, so we can upgrade all of these. That's fine, let's do it. Giving us even more melee attack. And hopefully these settlements are more or less undefended. Let's recapture our old territories here. Then it belonged to the Sassanids. I don't know if it's really a good idea to be converting these right now. Because there's a pretty decent chance that they're just going to be handed straight back to the, the Sassanids as soon as they send an army up this way. But, meh. Our money's going pretty well at the moment. Okay, good. Get ready for the third Doom stack. Destroy this thing. Okay, cool. Um, what do we need? Man, look at all these redundant buildings. What what the hell's wrong with the AI? Yeah, you know what we need? Redundant barracks.
And I know probably why, because early on in the um, in Rome 2's life cycle, the AI wouldn't focus on military buildings, and so they'd go through the entire campaign just with levy spearmen. And this is largely because they fucking put two settlements in the sorry two buildings in every settlement. The AI doesn't know what to do. It's like oh, one or the other. I don't know which one to do because everything is the same to me because I can't fucking make a decision. It's pretty simple. So obviously the, the band-aid fixes. Well, why don't we do this? We give them military buildings that, sorry, get them to focus on building military buildings in every province and we'll just cheat them all the money and food that they need so they don't have to worry about it. And yet they still run out of food. It's fine though. I mean, like I said, the problem is the fact that they only allow for two build slots. Yeah. This is like, there's no customization that's really available. Ooh, here we go. Even with this, like, it's just like, yeah, you're gonna win this. You're gonna slaughter the fuck out of them. They got horse archers though. Alright, look, we haven't had a, a fight, a proper fight, a mainly bizarre fight, in like two episodes. They don't stand a fucking chance, but it's a full stack versus a full stack. Let's see how they do. But here's the thing, because of all their horse archers, those horse archers have the best chance of actually doing something to us. But we're also very well armoured, so... Those horse archers aren't going to do very much. Alright, take a defensive position. Let's see where... It's high ground up here, but it's... Actually, it's not too bad. Right here. They'll come at us because we have artillery. It's just how it works. We have artillery, they don't. I mean, they can just sit there if they want, but then we'll just bomb them. These guys here will protect the flank and rear, and most importantly, protect the general. So these guys here also encourage as well. Look, yeah, we're not going to um, lose morale on this. 154 attack. Good. It's going to be fucked slaughter. How much ammo do we have? 18. They're probably going to do heaps of damage, but yeah, aiming for the cavalry is probably our best option. Especially their horse archers. Because we don't have any spearmen, not that we really need them. Not with that kind of melee attack. Like I said, we're going to cut through them as if they're butter. If they get into melee with us. No, I don't want you to be in formation attack. Because that generally slows them down. Aim for the horse archers, because they're going to be the most problematic unit. Um, poison round, what does this do? Melee attack, melee defense, firing range. But how, for how long, though? Like, it's clear as mud to take out these eastern horse archers. Although our archers here will be able to outrange them. So even if they're shooting at my troops here, we should be able to get at them. Okay, got to match their line. They're coming around over this way. Oh, hang on. Just stay put. These guys' main job, take out the horse archers. Ooh, watch out. Camels. Oh, you know how good camels are in every Total War game. Actually, they're, they're decent in Total War Tiller, but that's the only one. You know, artillery is actually really good at getting rid of cavalry. Now. 
await your command. So this guy's here with their 156 attack. Absolutely turn them into mincemeat. Don't forget, these guys here haven't got any experience yet, either. Rip through those cannons. We await your command. Yeah, see, the biggest problem is, is their missiles. We await your command. The enemy general is dead. Fire on the enemy. Missile infantry. You have to hold formation. Can't break because if you break it, they're just going to run away. We don't. We, we didn't increase our speed. One of our speed. units has used all its ammunition. Your service. Yours to command. Oh, these ones here have javelins as well. Interesting. Herculiani, signores. They're falling to pieces. Our general is under attack. Your service. Ready for order. Ready and waiting. Engage! Get over here, because um, he's actually not suited for that. He didn't get the uh, all those bonuses. Yours to command. Orders. Your orders. Also, with all that extra replenishment bonus from all those four temp uh, grand temples of Solid Victus. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Our replenishment rate should be through the roof. No need to chase them down. See what they, what we really need to do if we want to really test these guys out. We need to have them fight in a in a melee. This is not a skirmish-based army, and what we went up against there was mostly archers. Like I said, they sort of had a tactical advantage. It's just that that tactic, excuse me, that tactical advantage was completely dwarfed by the fact that they were just completely outclassed. At your command. Like, type for type, they had type that would have battle. done a lot of damage. Like I just said, just quality. They didn't have that. I think we'll keep going for a few more minutes. So that replenishment rate, holy crap. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, Rome OP. Rome OP. Pretty much the end of Egypt down here. And the Sassanids will possibly finish them off out there. So we don't have long to deal with all this. Make it quick, get in here, just take it all out. Are these guys at war with each other? Because that would be great if they are. Nope. All we have to do is capture the settlement and, and it's fine. Send this guy's back to Italy. Once this guy arrives in Egypt, he'll be able to defend the territory. Wait, we're missing here. That? I'd probably need that more than the other one. It's just extra research, right? I desperately need that. I think that our doom stacks only take two turns to recruit as well. Well, actually three if you consider the artillery. Let's 
That's it. We need that money. And we're out of it. It's good loyalty is going up. As it will with every new province that we take and convert to our culture. Gives us a plus one bonus. Allowing us to just do more with the politics stuff, like give ourselves more promotions, recruit new generals, all that kind of stuff. Which we don't need to do right now, but I will need to do soon. Hmm. Another army over there. Alright, I'll commit to this. And we'll... It's pretty much just a repeat of the previous army. I'll have to fight it manually, because now that we've got cavalry in the army, cavalry just soak up all the damage, generally speaking. So, probably you should fight that manually. Again, part of the problem with Doomsex. Like, like I've said before, it is easier to do this game hiring trash units. It's just easy to replace. Okay, I need you to come over here. When we make the attack, this guy here needs to be sabotaged. But this turn here, you should sabotage this one so that he's... I mean, this is desert trash. So we should be okay. Alright, so I'm gonna send you to... I think I'll send you to Anatolia. About Rhodes. Yeah, I'll send you to Rhodes. Oh boy. This stuff's gonna be coming from me very soon. Which is fine, but our armies haven't arrived yet, that's all. So just slow them down as much as possible. Alright, let's just um, hit that auto save again. And we'll end the episode there. Alright guys, so like and subscribe, part 6 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.